What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on SOS stock. First of all, brief information about this company. SOS is a high-tech company with AI blockchain as the core technology, headquartered in Qingdao. The company provides customers with rescue, big data, trade, digital asset management and other information technology services through AI block technology plus satellite communication. It is currently listed on the New York Stock Exchange, the main board of the United States with the stock code SOS. And uh, here is uh, the article that was published on March the 12th and uh, it reveals seven things for investors to know about SOS amid the fraud allegations. And uh, let me quote you again uh, these several bullets uh, in order to you understand all the risks involved in this company. On February 26, Hindenburg Research launched a short position and a series of allegations against SOS. Hindenburg alleges that it visited the company's main facility as listed in its regulatory filing and found it to be a hotel. Furthermore, Hindenburg released a series of tweets on the subject providing additional detail substantiating its claims. It calls SOS stock an obvious China-based shell game reanimating the corpse of a former China-based company that earlier imploded 90% from its highs. Since then, uh, various contrary reports have uh, surfaced calling Hindenburg's short thesis a malicious short attempt. Scorpio's VC's research into Hindenburg's short report highlighted uh, discrepancies with the allegations. The company addressed Scorpio claims what correct, was correctly disclosed and other issues in the short report were disputed. Since the end of February, shares of uh, SOS stock have rebounded to more than 35%. Investors uh, appear to be siding with Scorpio VC and others who don't believe in the allegations to be true. And uh, of course, uh, this company uh, has a lot of rumors around this and uh, these rumors are not so good. Uh, but uh, we have recent news and it was published on March 15, uh, right after I made my previous video about uh, this stock. And it says SOS Limited stock climbs 22% after Q1 guidance on Bitcoin Ether mining. SOS Limited stock surged 22% after the company said it expects to generate at least 41 Bitcoin and uh, 909 uh, Ethereum in Q1 2021, after mining its first Bitcoin on February 24, 2021. Our output should grow in future quarters as we receive and install our third batch of mining rigs and have a full quarter of operations for our current rigs, SOS Chief Financial Officer Stephen Lee said in a statement. The company installed uh, its second fleet of 5,000 mining rigs and expects uh, its combined fleet to have the capacity to calculate an average of 353 petahashes per second uh, for mining Bitcoin and uh, 707 gigahashes per second uh, for mining Ethereum. Its board also commissioned an independent review of the company's cryptocurrency mining activities. As part of this review, payments from multiple mining pools were traced to SOS through the public Bitcoin and ETH blockchain ledgers. Recall that in February, short seller Culper Research said it, con it considered SOS shares worthless, alleging that SOS claims around its cryptocurrency mining purchases and acquisitions appeared to be extremely problematic. The company also said uh, the review validated SOS control over certain electronic wallets and uh, that the rate of Bitcoin and ETH payouts received in those wallets was generally consistent with the expected productivity of its deployed fleet based on its hash rate capacity. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's rather good news and uh, this is uh, their website and uh, this is uh, this uh, press release uh, that was published on March 15th. And I will put all the links in the description below, you can read it by yourself and decide whether or not uh, it is a legit information. And uh, as far as we have uh, some concerning news around this company, we don't have uh, enough uh, interest uh, among institutional investors. And as you can see, our uh, latest filling was made on March the 1st and uh, all the way around this uh, statement we can see that uh, there is more red lines that indicates uh, that these companies, they closed their position on uh, SOS stock and uh, basically I can 100% uh, understand their decision because uh, as far as we have uh, this concerning news around this company, the game 
is not worth the candle. That's why these uh, institutional investors, they sold their position. And before we dive deep into the technical analysis, please subscribe to my channel with the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. As you can see, we have uh, this price action and uh, in my previous video that was made uh, on March the 12th, right here, I made an assumption that we have some kind of uh, triangle and it might be some kind of this triangle or uh, might be higher. And uh, basically we have two possibilities. First of all, with the assumption that this triangle was legit, uh, we have a good volume and uh, during the breakout of uh, this uh, formation and we have a retest right here. We have uh, a breakout, then retest of this uh, line and then bounce back to the upside. And this is, uh, this is very uh, legit, in my opinion, uh, price action. And uh, from this point uh, we might go uh, higher and uh, as you can see these three green lines uh, the, they are indicating our entry points and uh, even from our highest entry point we up for more than 12 percent and uh, it's in my opinion it is a good uh, sign for the company and it is a good sign for investors uh, who want to invest in this company and who already done your own due diligence. But uh, please, if you want to invest, uh, follow three simple rules. Do not put the money that you are not willing to lose. And uh, of course, you have to realize all the risks involved in this uh, asset, involved in the relationships with this uh, company. And that's why you have to be prepared for some losses of your money. Second rule, do not go all in. And this rule about, is about the volatility. You always uh, have to ladder your buys down in order to have a better price uh, for the future gains. Third rule, do not put stop loss uh, close to your entry price. And this is because of the volatility as well. And you have to be the trade rather than be kicked out from the trade by the random uh, week uh, to the downside. And that's why you have to put your stop loss uh, a little bit far than usual. And let me show you one more information that we might have uh, in the future. So, uh, from the technical standpoint, uh, if uh, this uh, triangle was uh, legit, then we might have another triangle and it is a ascending triangle, as you can see. And this will give us an opportunity uh, to go to the upside, also uh, with the conviction of volume. Usually, this formation breaks to the upside. And uh, let me show you the possible waves of... Uh, this price action we might go down and then bounce back and then something like this and from this point we might go up and then retest we might retest this uh, support slash resistance and then go further up this is the possible way of uh, this uh, price action but it's not obvious because we might bounce from this point to the upside and make some of these movements it doesn't matter all i have to say that we have to uh, hover for quite some time between these two lines and then we might have uh, some uh, breakout or breakdown it's also possible that we might go to the downside and this will give us an opportunity to make some gains or maybe to average our position down as long as uh, the asset goes down. So, uh, I think that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with the notification bell if you haven't done this before. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!